everyone, Cheryl from Teaching Two and Three Year Olds. This week we are having our bug theme. And so this is the theme that we like to kick off the spring with. So I thought today I would share with you how our children are using each center. But before I do that, I wanted to show you some of the principles that we have. We have our number strips. This is a freebie on the website, so they just match up the numbers and they make the picture. I have the bee and I have the butterfly. For circle, we will be doing, here's a beehive, and this is part of our Song and Rhymes Pack, Volume 2, and it comes with five bees, and then has the beehive, and what I did was I laminated them, and I put magnetic dots on the back. I also have these bees here. I have the Eensy Weensy Spider. Now this is part of our Song and Rhymes props. This is volume one. And so this, these are the props here. And again, I did the same thing where I put the magnetic strip dot on the back. And then we will put these on the magnetic board. And, I, and then I made extra copies of each of the spiders. And so the children can hold a spider while we sing the song. Okay, at the art table, we are dropping watercolors onto bug paper. This is the, I bought these at through Amazon. There's different bug shapes. I wanted to work on fine motor skills again with the droppers, and this is always a favorite. Let me see your bug. At the art table, we are stamping, we were using these bug stamps and we're pressing them into Play-Doh. And I love using these bug stamps for, we use them with ink, we use them with paint, but they do work well at the Play-Doh table too. Is he hopping? We're gonna be hopping to a grasshopper song later too. During circle time. It's a butterfly. A butterfly. We have fresh play doh that was just made this morning. Is it still warm? Yep. It's nice and soft. Yep. This is day two, and we we have homemade play doh today, which works out so Thank much you. better. Rolling it. You've rolled it. What bug do you have? Me. Do you have a ladybug? Mm. Let's see, lift it up. Let's see what it looks like. <gasps> there it is. Look on your play doh. There's the ladybug. In our reading area, we are doing the hungry caterpillar. I have a felt set that they are using, and we have the book. This is what I like to do. I like to make use of all of our centers and including the reading area to do things that are book related. The very hungry caterpillar. What did he eat there? What is it? What are those? Strawberries. Strawberries. The strawberry in the book. He ate the strawberry, and there's the and strawberries the right there. He ate the strawberry. 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 writing table we have our bee and ladybug. These are part of our spring dot packet on Teachers Pay Teachers. I pulled out the bee and ladybug for this hey, week. Oh, there you go. There's lots. There's a basket full of them. And then we also have our bee color page. And this is a free printable that's on the website. And I'll put links to these in the video's description. At the 
the sensory table. We have different bugs. This is actually a sorting activity. We got this from Lakeshore and you sort the bugs. For this age group, the sorting might be a little bit of a challenge. They're just gonna wanna fill the tubs and that's okay. Our older class is using this bin as well. So they're actually sorting the bug. What's this? What bug is that? A ladybug? Ladybug. Where are you gonna put the ladybug? Where's the Where's the cup with the ladybug on it? Here. No, that's the bee. There's a ladybug. Put it in the ladybug cup. I got this. And putting it in the ladybug cup. Can we find some more ladybugs to put in the ladybug cup? Anything so? what happens when pieces get moved from one center to another. And it happens, just like you see that there's a car there, and the car is part of the block area, but it made its way into the sensory bin. And I don't make a huge deal about it with this age. Um, we're just starting to talk more about what stays in what area, but with, especially two-year-olds, things travel, that's just what happens, and so, we just, we work with it. The only thing that we say is that the sensory materials need to stay in the sensory bin. And we can't be carrying around the little pieces from the sensory bin. And the art materials need to stay at the art table. And the Play-Doh needs to stay at the Play-Doh table. But otherwise things get moved around. That's just the reality of this age group. And in the dramatic play area, we've got lots of bugs, especially ladybugs. Love it when people donate their old phones to us. We got a flip phone going on here. We have light up bugs. We have to press them to get them to light up. Let me see. Throw it down. At the light table, we have bees. We have yellow blocks. Where did that go? Where did this go? Where does it go? Oh, oh, let's bring them back over here on the light table. Somehow our bees flew away to other areas of the classroom. Thank you. I'm putting them back. Where that go? You put them on your fingers.
And then once again, we are using our circle time area for floor toys and blocks and cars during center's time. We double up on our space. sensory bin in our classroom. We have some kinetic sand. So we kind of move this over near the block area. This has been fun. On the train table, we have all of our jumbo bugs. We have some tree blocks and arches. Will, do you see the fly? Go The butterfly. So that's how we have our classroom set up for the bug theme. Make sure to like Teaching Two and Three Year Olds on YouTube and click the bell icon so that you are notified every time I have a new video. I'll be back soon with another classroom setup with our new spring theme. Thanks for watching.